guys, this is really crazy. Why are we having this discussion about bad black people and arguing with each other when we all know white people aren't sitting around discussing whether or not they're a good white person? That's because white people are inherently bad. Did anyone out there really think that Disney had learned its lesson and after hiring Bob Iger was going to change course away from left wing propaganda? No, you idiot! If for some reason you were still giving Disney money, stop it. For some reason, I was still subscribed, but I put an end to that shit real fast. That's because of their new reboot of an older show from the early 2000s called The Proud Family. Now, I've never watched that show before, but from what I've seen on YouTube, it seems like a pretty standard Disney cartoon. So in this clip, a group of all brown and black kids, minus one white girl, protest a statue, throwing their fists in the air, which is well-known communist symbolism, and associated with the group Black Lives Matter. As riot police show up for no apparent reason to arrest the kids because that's what cops do according to Disney. Now my main problem with this is that it's a propagandized version of what actually happens when left-wing mobs attack historic statues. Like we see here where police are being violently attacked by a left-wing mob as they attempt to protect a Christopher Columbus statue. Police said the PVC pipe used to hold the Black Lives Matter banners had been sharpened and were taken out and used to jab at officers. The media does doesn't widely report on this political violence so that the propagandists at Disney can release this alternate version of reality. Are you in riot gear? We don't see no riot here! Then this happens. Do something with here. your white we privilege! No right How about no? Ugh, what the hell? Again, this idea that somehow white people have a special power over police and are never mistreated by them, which is a total lie. And also that all white people can be broadly judged as having this invisible trait that comes with our skin color, which is actually in the definition of racism. Brought to you by Disney. Look, it needs to be said, white privilege is not a real thing. It is a racial stereotype that's really no different than anti-Semitic conspiracy theories and tropes. Hell, by AOC standards, this is stochastic terrorism. But it gets even worse, with the kids singing a song that spreads what can only be called historical disinformation, and demonstrating why this ideology is dangerous and shouldn't be taught to kids as normal. As you see here at one point, the girl claims slaves built the United States. But as Reagan said, our liberal friends know so much that just is isn't so. This is not to say that slavery wasn't involved and important, especially early on, but you cannot factually attribute America being built to slavery alone. But it works really well if you're into ideological subversion of America. What it basically means is to change the perception of reality of every American to such an extent that despite of the abundance of information, no one is able to come to sensible conclusions. Uh, the first one being demoralization. It takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation. Uh, educate one generation of students in the country of, of, of your enemy, exposed to the ideology of the enemy. In other words, Marxism-Leninism ideology is being pumped into the soft heads of, of, of at least three generations of American students without being challenged or counterbalanced by the basic values of Americanism. The result, the result you can see, most of the people who graduated in the 60s, dropouts or half-baked intellectuals, are now occupying the positions of power in the government, civil service, business, mass media, educational system. That's because white people are inherently bad. The song goes on to demand reparations to people who had nothing to do with slavery, paid by people who had nothing to do with slavery. Throughout their presentation, the white girl just stands there in the back holding up signs, subservient and not speaking, even holding up an Orwellian sign that says freedom, while she is not allowed to speak because of her skin color. Brought to you by Disney. What can we do about it? Well, the quickest and easiest thing you can do is cancel your subscription to Disney. Do not spend your money on people that literally hate you for your skin color and are promoting a far left dangerous cult. And you can also support channels like mine so I can continue exposing the baddies. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.